Hello and welcome to another Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today we're just going to go over some preventive maintenance for belt drives. Now, optimum belt drive performance requires proper maintenance and a comprehensive, effective preventive maintenance program consisting of these elements. Now, what we're going to focus on today is belt inspection procedures. First, you want to make it part of your regular maintenance rounds to inspect drives. You look and you listen for any unusual vibration or sound when you're inspecting the guarded drive in operation. A well-designed and maintained drive will operate smoothly and quietly. Next, inspect the guard for looseness and damage. Keep it free of debris or dust and grime buildup. Any accumulation of material on the guard acts as insulation and it could cause the drives to run hotter and you don't want that and I'll tell you why. Because an internal temperature increase of just 18 degrees Fahrenheit or approximately 36 degrees Fahrenheit rise in ambient drive temperature, well that's going to cut your belt life in half and I don't know about you, but I prefer my belt to run as long as it possibly can. Also, you want to look for oil or grease dripping from the guard. Now, this may indicate either over-lubricated bearings or the possibility that somebody left some french fries in there. I would probably go to the former, not the latter. Just in case, just look for it. Now, if the material gets on rubber belts, what happens? That's right, it swells, it becomes distorted, and that leads, again, to early belt failure. We don't want to do that. Check motor mounts for proper tightness, and also check take-up slots or rails to make sure that they're clean and lightly lubricated. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Tom, how often should you inspect your drives? Well, I have an answer for you. You want to consider these factors that are on screen right now. Also, keep in mind that drives operating at high speeds, heavy loads, frequent starts and stop conditions, and at temperatures extreme or operating on critical equipment require frequent inspection. Remember, a well-designed industrial belt drive is capable of operating for several years when properly maintained and used under normal conditions. Now, if it could run for 10 years and you don't do it right and you go, it could belt life in half, that's five years, what does that mean? Uh, it costs you more money to replace it, downtime, we don't want that. So take care of your belts. Well, that about does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Now, we didn't need any PPE today, but I had it on the table just to let you know that you should always wear the correct PPE for whatever the job calls for. Hey, check out more videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Could be Tom's Toolbox, it could be the MI How To videos. Just go to mihowto.com and that's where you can find them all. Thanks for watching.